I just feel like there's so much to talk about. Oh boy. I don't know. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this just sucks. In a nutshell, they announced that they were going to make it free to play when they first announced the game. So it's base it's been in early access for the past year and a little bit. And you were buying the game, you know, in early access before they were going to make it free to play. They announced yesterday that it's not going to be free to play. They've also announced that they're doing um, their first like paid content. So they're adding like Rapunzel, Eve, and Gaston, but you have to pay $30 in order to get them. Unveiling our expansion pass and first ever showcase on November 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern, which I'm going to miss because I'm going to be at work. Why did they do it in the middle of the day? I, anyway, if, if you can't tell, <laughs> I'm not trying to be annoyed, but I am. We are excited to announce the arrival of Disney Dreamlight Valley, a rift in time, a paid expansion pass coming to Disney Dreamlight Valley this December 5th. So we've got Rapunzel, of course. She's like, I've been looking forward to her like the most out of all the characters that we've been waiting for. So I'm really disappointed that she's in like a paid expansion. Oh my gosh, I just realized back here there's a the palace from Aladdin. So we've got Rapunzel, we've got Eve from Wally, who I also love. I have a plushie of her. I should have brought her, but I have a plushie of Eve because I love the movie Wally and I love her and I love Wally. We have Gaston, which I'm like, uh, whatever. Gaston's fine. <laughs> if I'm buying this expansion pass, it's not for him. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I'm really curious about how the t what the tone is going to be for this uh, announcement thing. Because I know everybody online that I've, mostly everybody, has been really frustrated. And, <laughs> like, I wonder what tone they're going to try and strike here to try and make it seem like... It's going to be really cool, guys. So we'll see. <clears throat> um, give you a glimpse at upcoming updates and unveil much anticipated multiplayer features. That's what I'm most interested in personally. Because I love multiplayer stuff a lot. And I know there's people I would want to play with. Um, but I am curious about how that's going to be implemented. So I'll definitely be watching for that. Global launch on December 5th. Yay! Early access has been incredibly valuable for the entire Disney Dreamlight Valley team. Thanks to your enthusiasm and participation over the past year, we've had a chance to build the game we aspire to while implementing your feedback. As we transition to launch, existing players will keep their access to the game, their moonstones, and their save game. Well, that's good. I mean, I figured that would really suck if that wasn't the case. An update on Free to Play. It seems like this is what people are most frustrated with. We've made the decision to remain a paid game for the foreseeable future, which probably means forever, I would guess. I don't see them ever changing their minds on this. I don't know. So I asked if people were waiting to play, Disney, to get Disney Dreamlight Valley once it was free, because I've talked to some people on Twitter, on stream, all that stuff about like, waiting to play because that was honestly what I was thinking I was gonna do but then I had a ton of FOMO and uh I did end up buying it for myself 40% of people were waiting to play the game until it was free my comments it seems like people who were going to get it for free are really turned off by the fact that it's not going to be free anymore which I totally get because you're waiting you know They've been waiting, and I, at least if it were me, I would feel really bummed out because I'd be, I'd be like, I've been waiting, and, you know, I've missed all this stuff because, you know, they'll release certain content at different times of the year, and now they're like, they don't have access to that. Nobody said that, but that's how I would be feeling right now, Um, and I think people just feel like 
lied to and anyway I mean and I get it it's really frustrating and annoying <laughs> so we have is this more how much is Disney Dreamlight Valley now hold on let me look yeah it's $30 right now huh what about on the switch yeah $30 for the base thing so they're raising the price of it too holy crap oh my gosh so I guess if you haven't bought the game already and are planning on buying it buy it now because it's uh gonna go up ten dollars in December I guess it is the full game but like how much are they gonna add <laughs> I don't know I guess we'll see on Wednesday when they do their thing that is so I didn't realize they were raising the price too huh <laughs> I didn't people hadn't been mentioning that but interesting okay cozy edition gives you a physical copy so I saw they'd announced the cozy edition like a month ago and I was like hmm how are you gonna do a physical edition and make it free to play like I don't I haven't seen that ever implemented so I was a little suspicious when that happened and so this announcement isn't like surprising to me in that way at least okay gold edition you get a digital copy and the expansion pass is it discounted at all if you buy the gold edition so <sighs> you guys I can't do mental math hold on no you don't save any money if you just buy the base game and the expansion pass together so I guess if you buy this you basically are just buying this because otherwise you're just paying for this and this I'm disappointed to be honest but I yeah I don't know I'm really curious to see how the showcase goes I really like Rapunzel but I don't want to pay $30 to have Rapunzel you know maybe I will and I just anyway I'm just annoyed and I don't want to spend more money on this game even though I've only spent $30 I've never spent more money in game even though you can but yeah that's $60 $70 to play the base game and then also have this when it was supposed to just be free <laughs> you know and I'm not surprised that they're announcing stuff like the expansion pass because I knew if it was going to be free to play they were going to have to make some money somehow and so I thought that that was going to be the Moonstone store. And maybe they did too. And then they realized people weren't paying for stuff in the Moonstone store. And just like saving up Moonstones. Because you can earn them in the game. Um. So. Yeah. I. I <laughs> it's just really disappointing to me. And it feels like it, in my, logically, I'm like, it feels like it shouldn't be such a big deal. But I've spent so much time streaming and playing this game. And, like, talking about how much I like it. Every way they can think of to make money off of you, they're trying. They're having you pay for the game. They're having you buy, like, cosmetic items through the Moonstone store. They're having you buy characters. That was what I was most worried about, was having them put characters behind a pay, another paywall. Well, behind a paywall when I originally thought the game was going to be free to play. But now the game also costs money. And then there are still characters that you can't hang out with. You know, like it just feels so grimy. Yeah, it just really sucks because I love this game. I've played a lot of it. And I think it's really fun. And it just really stinks that there's all this stuff that makes it hard to recommend to people <laughs> you know <laughs> so I don't know I'm I don't know how much I'm gonna play it in the future or stream it just because I'm just kind of annoyed um and I mean I'm probably the most annoyed right now and we'll see anyway 
We'll see how I'm feeling after the... I can't remember what it's called. The showcase. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we'll see 